three, two, one. Hi, I'm here at the Relapse Symphony for a concert weirdos. I'm Brett Blundell, and I sing. I'm Jason, I play guitar. I'm Tyler, I play drums. I'm Alex, I play guitar. Okay, so we're going to play a little game called I'm a Weirdo. I have this crown. Yeah, we definitely are. Can we play that game over here? <laughs> <laughs> and whoever's wearing the crown, I hope other people have to say like one weird fact about them. Oh, this will be easy. Oh, this is so many weird. Yeah, I'll go first. Let's if I can get it over my hair here. <laughs> yeah, awesome. there's, a, there's a problem because we have really big hair. That's good. I wish that that was just a part of your everyday life. <laughs> Alright, you guys go because I can't think of something from Brett. Um, some weird about that. Oh, Brett will literally do nothing all day, and then when you call him, he literally is like, I'm doing nothing. He's nocturnal. Yeah. Like, if you try to contact him before 5, it's impossible. And then 501 <laughs> rolls around, and like, Twitter, Instagram, everything's going crazy. I'm like, oh, he's awake. But that's not that weird. Yeah, I like there's weirder things. You well, own usually like bats are not oh, but I'm a human. You own so thousands of scarves. Yeah. Oh, I know. That I don't wear. That he doesn't ever wear. <laughs> Is that on your belt? Yeah. No, 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 like, yeah. like, like, like scarf. Oh. Scarves? Scarves. Yeah, scarves. Scarves. Scurvy. Scarves. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I never wear them, so that's weird. What's, but, what's weird about Brett is when he, like, before he gets, like, kind of tired and falling asleep, he'll sneeze nonstop for, like, an oh, hour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he gets drunk really fast. <laughs> like, well, because I weigh 92 pounds. No, 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 no. I remember the first time I drank with him, I think he thought it was, like, a relay race of some sort, because we're all like, yeah, we're drinking. Well, there was, was that, there was that alcohol from, like, There was a lot of it, but yeah. Brett's weird. <laughs> there was something from, like, Indonesia. Indonesia. I don't know. Columbia. It was Columbia. You just yeah. get drunk really quick. Yeah. Alright, that's a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> well, Tyler, I want Tyler to say one. He knows lots of weird stuff about me. Oh man, I don't know if I can say any of these on the camera. <laughs> Whoa! That sounds sexual. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, it's JC's turn now. <laughs> How do you do this? I don't know. Why is it more funny on me? Did I do it wrong? Okay, so my, my weird thing about JC, my favorite thing that he does, is he constantly fixes his bangs. No matter what he's doing. I don't doing. even know I'm doing it. Yeah, he doesn't worry about the rest of his hair, but the nope. bangs are always spot on. They're but, bangs. Yeah. yeah. But bangs. That's how we know when you're drunk, because then he just quits. Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, once he's drunk, it's just like, it's like a middle right. part of he also, big part uh, of he also wears socks in hot tubs. <laughs> I was wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I took off everything, but I forgot the socks. He had socks in the tank. Oh, it was weird. It was a weird night. You got nothing? I already said my. Uh, I'll wear them on JC's before he corrects or anything, or as a statement, he always goes, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm uh, uh, that's been said by Alex alone, and nobody's confirmed it. Uh, you, I don't know, dude. Do I do? I got uh, one time you did do it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Alright. Okay, DJ, you're on your phone, so like, we'll have a conversation between me and Brett talking, and you'll be like, uh, I don't know. Then, <laughs> yeah, like, do I butt in with that? Do I have a throat problem? I don't know. Yeah. Like, you're clearing your throat, but it's very loud. <laughs> it's very bah, see? Alright, yeah. is that the last game? I was gonna go. Oh man. Oh, man. man. <laughs> oh wow. That is gorgeous. Oh man. That's so Stay good. good. <laughs> I, I want you to own this. Oh man. <laughs> Alright. Um, a weird thing about Tyler. Uh, he never says anything ever. Yeah, he, he never has an opinion on anything. When he does, though, it's always profound. Yeah, like he won't talk, and then it's like when he does talk, like that time he died at that party and came back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like Jesus. You come back. And yeah, he like, did die at a party and came back. Yeah, did do that. Kinda, you drive. You know, he drums when he drives. Like the whole That's time he's like driving, air, air drums. Yeah. He's drumming. <laughs> like if you follow him, it's hilarious because you're like if you play a song, it's like it looks like he's playing the song you're listening to. There's like rolls. He'll punch the roof of his car for like the kick. <laughs> <laughs> it's there's a lot going on. Uh, he lives in the middle of nowhere. That's weird for me. Like, yeah, it's right? scary. <laughs> it's scary. It's scary. Like, scary. And he's like, this is no big deal. It's like going 100 miles an hour, like on these dirt roads. It's like there's like mountain like, deer yeah. to get to his house. That's weird. I think it's weird that you have like animals everywhere at your house. Like yeah, I'm like scared about to run over stuff. Like, there's like roosters. Remember when his dog brought the skull from the yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was weird. That was really weird. Oh god. Yeah, Alex is here. Yeah. What's not weird about me? I, have, I almost have too many weird things for you. I am. <laughs> like, I'm scared for this one. So. I'm gonna wait till you put it on. How's that looking? That looks great. Oh, that looks yeah. So one thing that's weird is when Alex is drunk, he cleans. <laughs> like, but up frantically and obsessively. Like, it's not like oh, I'm gonna tidy up. It's like 
and you're like, are you all right, man? And you're like, dude, yeah, I just, this place is a mess, I'm sorry. And you're like, it's really not a mess. And you're like, I just, you guys do your thing, I gotta clean. And like, just clean. Yeah. I like, I like that when, uh, after a long night of drinking, and you know, it's hot outside. That's all we're talking about. <laughs> Alex, yeah, Alex's hair starts to look like Gene Simmons. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's awesome. It literally becomes Gene Simmons' hair. Yeah, it's like Gene Simmons. It's full on, <laughs> full on Gene Simmons family jewels. You never see it happen. It's just like, boom, yeah. Gene Simmons is here. It's a wreck the day. Alex always quotes South Park, especially when he's really drunk. <laughs> yeah. and he gets really obsessive with all the Alex, places. Alex, he lives his life by South Park episodes. Mm -hmm. yeah. All we do is drink and play music, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I want South Park. Hey, uh, another thing is he did kill the red peacock. He actually took this off, so you're not allowed to say anything else we're yeah. oh, okay. I've ruined the game. I'm sorry. I'm just going <laughs> You're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> you never can like, go pro. You lose, you lose a pro. turn. Okay. Sorry, we won't stop talking. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, well, well, we're doing great, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're supposed to study. Yeah, we're, we're, we're studying. This is a children's library, and they think we're selling drugs because and we don't look like we should be here. And I'm dumb enough <laughs> to walk in and start cursing. Yeah, and the first thing he did when he walked in was yell fuck. <laughs> so there's like little kids checking out Harry Potter, and Alex is yelling fuck. At the top of his lungs. <laughs> <laughs> fuck! <laughs> like, very epic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you recently got signed by Standby Records. How's that been going, and what are some things your fans can look forward to? Uh, the signing with Standby Records has been really, really cool. They've been really great to us, and uh, we have a lot of exciting things coming up that we can't really like say. But uh, I can tell you guys that there's a lot of cool stuff coming your way, so stay tuned. Okay, so it's really surprising how your how fast your band got signed. Um, you only had to make your move and the other side of town out, and you still got managed. Still managed to catch the attention of a great record label. What do you think they saw in you to get you? I think it, I think it's kind of a combination of things. Is one is um, we we put so much like blood, sweat, and tears into the songs that we write uh, every little piece of it, and uh, we have we have the the greatest fan base. They're so dedicated, and uh, it, those things together like made us just skyrocket. I don't, I try, we try to stress uh, to them how much they mean to us because they're everything. You know what I mean? We wouldn't be here without them. So. Yeah, Standby had no idea how new of a band we were because our fans were so dedicated. Yeah. Like they thought we'd been a band for like a year or two because our fans were just like drawing pictures of us, like just always talking to us. Like they couldn't believe how new we were, which was yeah. a big, a big part of why we got signed was our fans. So what made you want to get into music? Um, I've always been, like, I, I've always wanted to do this ever since I was basically a toddler. I mean, uh, my dad was uh, really into rock music, you know, as a teenager, so I, I was born into it. You know, I mean, he, I, the records were right there for me to listen to. Um, you know, I had videotapes to watch and all kinds of stuff like that. Played so. a very small guitar. Yeah. Yeah, there's, <laughs> I, I have literally a picture of me with my first little acoustic guitar. I had, like, four strings on that, that would be a base, actually. Yeah, yeah. Base. but I mean, so, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's not my department. Maybe a violin. I'm a singer. It I might have been a violin you were playing. That's why I became a singer. Because I don't know. He doesn't know what instruments are. Yeah. So, like, was it a struggle to get into music, or did you just know that's what you wanted to do? Um, well, it is It is kind of difficult to, if you are really serious about it. I mean, it's easy to put, like, a garage band together and, you know, you know, hang out with your friends on the weekends, but that was never, like, our... Uh, agenda, you know, we wanted to really, you know, make a statement with our music and be, you know, a really big band. And um, we've all been in a bunch of bands that have kind of like, you know, failed or there was like not as much dedication, you know, in, between the members, and we kind of just found each other that way, you know, through trial and error. And now we finally have something that's right. It's been a long process. Yeah, yeah. but very worth it. We've all been doing music since we were like 12. Yeah. Like seriously, <laughs> so it's been a while. So describe the style of your band, like musically and. That's so hard. Style. It yeah, it's hard to say because um, I don't think we put as much thought into like our look and like what we're gonna sound like as people think because uh, we're just really like being ourselves. You know what I mean? What what's inside of us just kind of comes out in the music and you know we all we look like this every day. It's not yeah. constant. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, so, it, it's hard to say, it's just, you know, what you see and what you hear is just uh, purely the relapse of me. I like to think that we're a, a big mix of like all of our influences. Like we all listen to so, like we're all music 
geeks. Like we're obsessed. We all listen to new music all the time. We're always sharing music. And I think like it's definitely I would say rock, but we take a little bit from from everything we all listen to, from 70s glam, from him, and like 80s like hair metal and like Swedish rock and Pantera. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Used, and My Chem, stuff like that. So we just we all love everything. So. We all get in, get each other into everything. Yeah, we absolutely. Like as well. We almost love hands. Yeah, hands. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do you think that's what makes you different from like the rest? Um, I don't know. I think yeah. Because um, I think a lot of bands try to fit into a genre, whereas yeah. we, the first thing we said, we we're like, we don't want people to be easily to easily be able to define us. And another thing about our band too is the four of us really all are like have a really strong personality, and we all put our own thing into this band, so it makes us really individual from a lot of other bands. And a lot of bands come out with like gimmicks. And this is pretty much it. Yeah, we don't dance no. yet. Not yet. <laughs> but maybe we will. But we have some choreography. <laughs> we can be like, we spin and fall on our knees. I want to get the uh, spinning guitars, like um, the beard guys. ZZ yeah, top. ZZ Top. The beard guys. <laughs> I'm like, the beard guys. Tyler just got so mad because you didn't know who they were. Yeah. I love ZZ Top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What? <laughs> what does the Relapse Symphony mean? Um, the name is kind of, uh, we wanted something that wouldn't, when we told you what our band name was, it wouldn't instantly define us. You know, I think a lot of bands try to sound like, tough or you know they try to define themselves with a name and uh, we also wanted a thing where you could kind of find your own meaning in it too. Yeah. Okay, since this is a concert interview, who would you most likely who would you most like to tour with? Um, I think uh, him would be really cool. Mm, that's so hard. The used um, the biters. Yeah biters. Yeah, biters. I'm gonna say Trey you. Cool. Everybody. Let's tour with everybody. Every band. Yeah, we want to tour with everybody. Oh, oh, we want to do band. every tour. Any band, like in high school, like I was too young to go on the road and like yeah. open up for. That's all of them. Oh, I thought you were saying you wanted to tour with like any band in high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're in high school. We'll as long as you're in high school. Yeah, we well, you're, if you're in high college, school, no way. Like, yeah. It's like, like Menudo. Once they get yeah. to old, start shaving, boom. Yeah. They don't want to talk to you. Okay, so who's the most shyest? The shyest? The most shy, yeah. Um, I think, I don't know, it's it's kind of neck and neck between me and Tyler. I don't think a lot of people know, but I'm painfully shy. Um, it hurts, hurts to look at him so <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's a time between me and Tyler. You're weird though, you're like you're like bipolar about it. Like some days you're so quiet and then like well, all of a sudden days, you're so loud. Some days I'm, like, I'm drunk. Oh, yeah. Sundays? Some, yeah, some, yeah some only days, Sundays. Only on Sundays. Yeah. Tyler's <laughs> quiet, but he's not shy. Like, if that yeah. makes sense. Like, yeah. he won't say something, but he's not shy at all. So, me and Tyler are kind of shy in different ways, but we're definitely a lot shyer than these two. <laughs> yeah. So, who's the loudest? JC. JC. Who's the most oblivious? Um, probably me. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know what to call him. He's all right, so he actually, like, will go over his hair. Like this. Yeah, completely <laughs> over my hair. Who's the most motherly? Alex. <laughs> yeah, Alex, Alex, I like how fast she said that. Did you feel like mother that peacock before you killed it? Oh, okay, yeah, he slaughtered well, it. He is, though, because if I'm at the bar or something, all we do is talk about alcohol. Yeah. It's terrible. Like, if I'm at the bar, like, he'll let me get way too drunk, but he'll, he won't let me die. Yeah, yeah. So, Alex, I've never died with Alex. Alex, long time. Alex watches out for us. He takes care of us. Yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah, sure we don't do anything too crazy. Takes us up and takes us to bed. Tucks us all in. I, yeah. I really <laughs> feel like all we do is talk about alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I already had to carry me a lot. I heard that one name, Mama Fox, because he was drunk one night. He's like, oh, thank yeah. Mama Fox. <laughs> remember when, remember when uh, me and JC were fist fighting? Yeah. For no reason. Yeah, we just fist fought each other for fun. But he was like, you guys, come on, kids. Come and then on. they go, let's beat up Alex. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. That, yeah, that, that, that was like two little kids trying to beat up like a gorilla. Yeah, like, that, he, that. he was just like, whoosh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, have you seen Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. You know when the beast is getting attacked by wolves? Yeah. And he's just throwing yeah. them off? That was, we that, were the yeah. wolves to his beast. That was the weirdest thing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was more like, do you remember 1991? <laughs> yeah. Okay, who's the weirdest? Everyone. Yeah, yeah, we're, all, we're all the weirdest. <laughs> This guy, Tyler. <laughs> I know you're just a Tyler. Well, like he lives like like he said, he lives like on a barn, so like he can shout <laughs> about <laughs> He lives on top of a barn. He lives on a barn. On top of it. Not on a it. farm. On a farm. That's <laughs> awesome. He lives on a farm. He lives on a farm. And if you ever go there, like 
He's like Kid Pigpen from Charlie Brown. Yeah, like he's always like a dust cloud of Winchester. <laughs> yeah, every <laughs> dust cloud of Winchester. Winchester. That's him. He's the dust cloud of Winchester. <laughs> that's your wrestling name. Yeah. That's <laughs> my <Tyler laughs> dust cloud boy. That's my wrestling name. <laughs> Maybe this guy, he's got red yeah. on his chest. Oh, that, he wins because he's a tattoo yeah. on his nipple. I have this cool rebel bracelet too. You get second. You guys get second place in the rebel <laughs> Because it's on his skin. I have so. holes in my jeans, so Ooh. that's pretty rebellious. Yeah. You're the yeah. least rebellious. I know. Because you're like Batman and Plus he's a detective. Plus you those lovely words outside. Yeah. Oh yeah, you go fuck it little kids, you win. <laughs> <laughs> so is it easier to write about personal experiences or like experiences you think people can relate to more? Um, I think we do a lot of both. Um, we start out like, I think songs are always kind of born out of personal experience. You know what I mean? Like, right, you have to have, go through something to have something to write about. But uh, at the same time, I think the way we put kind of like our true feelings and our all into our songs, like that makes it relatable to a lot of other people. Because I think you know the human condition, you know, that you all relate to. Like, there's it's a little bit of both. We try to keep things open. Like, I don't think we'll ever be like. I love Taylor Swift, but her songs Me are too. so specific sometimes that it's like it sounds like she's writing about like like it's out of her diary. I don't think we'll ever write a song that's like it was a yeah. Tuesday and I was drinking milk and I was walking on the street. Yeah, not you like that. Sure. Yeah. And the mailman came. You know what I mean? But like we try to keep it broad enough that like maybe you don't know what the song's about and then you hear something and you're like, oh, I can kind of relate to that. Yeah, you can put your even own. if it's not what it is about. Yeah. So if there's one thing you want the relaxation to be remembered for, what would it be? I think um, the way that uh, we help our fans out, you know what I mean, um, that's really a huge thing to us. I, I, that's what we do this for. I mean, we grew up, you know, we were those kids that, you know, we had problems in school and things like that, and we looked to uh, our heroes, you know what I mean, that played rock and roll music, and they got us through that. And uh, to hear kids to get that return to tell us that is like the world that means the world to us. We were just talking about that the other night for like two hours. Yeah. So what bands would you like to see like your concert? Like if you could meet them, what would you say to them? Um, I've been to a lot of shows, but uh, the one band I haven't seen, and I, I really want to see them before they call it quits, is uh, Iggy and the Stooges. And because, uh, but I mean, I have no idea what I would say to Iggy Pop. I mean, to me, he's an he's an icon to me. I, like that would be so surreal. I feel like any you could say anything to Iggy Pop. Yeah, <laughs> like and he he's was that a, guy. Yeah, but I mean, like that's that's <laughs> such a surreal thing, you know? Like I I don't know what I'd say other than. Yeah, nice jeans. You. Yeah. Thank you for raw power. That's yeah. Cool abs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I would probably want to meet. It's so hard. Probably Rancid, because they were like a huge influence on me all through middle school and high school, and I got a chance to meet Tim Armstrong once, and I completely ruined it. I was like, you never told me that. Yeah, I, I was like so stoked to talk to him, and I had like I was getting ready like what I was gonna say, and everybody was in line to meet him, and it came up to me. And all I could think to say was nice hat. Oh, like man. I wanted to be like, oh man, you changed my like you saved my life. Like I did love he, you. Did he talk how he sing? Yeah. He was like, oh, oh cool, man, cool. Yeah. But he's this tall. So it was kinda like Yeah. Say nice hat. Nice hat. Oh cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was tomorrow's wrong. Heard the stud on the jacket and <laughs> I wanted to take the hat. <laughs> <laughs> nice hat. It's mine. <laughs> I would really love to go see Molly Crew. But I don't know what you'd really say to Molly Crew. I guess just being such a big influence, especially when I was first starting to get into music, it really inspired me and hope that we can party harder than <laughs> they did back in the day. <laughs> well, maybe not die though. Yeah, yeah. No dying. No dying. Well, he's already done that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> like Jesus. He's similar to him, not the Jesus esque. Yeah. Um, actually, no. You know how like they just kind of put him in Jesus in the tomb? That's what we did with him. He just kind of stuck yeah. out of bed and like closed the door, and he came out like yeah. three hours later. His hair was like, huge. Uh, <laughs> and he, just, he didn't say anything. He just kind of like walked up and like grabbed a cigarette and was like, Ah, it's up time. And like, jumped in, like yeah. I was back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you didn't say you ran? Oh, um, probably Avenged Sevenfold. And the only one I would really want to talk to is like Sinister Gates, and probably begging for guitar lessons. That guy's out of control. Plead. Yeah, I'd pay for it. Like, get any juice. I'll give you five dollars. <laughs> I'll give you all the money in my pocket. Yeah. There's nothing. <laughs> okay, so how do you like to stay connected with fans? Um, we we're always talking to our fans on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, we love doing it. We try to reply as much as possible. It's getting harder though. Yeah, it's getting a lot harder. But I mean, we'll never stop trying. So write to us all the time. 
yeah, leave comments. We try to try to reply. So. Okay, I have some fan questions here. This one's from Lou Chain ninety seven, and it says, "What has been your biggest music influence?" For me, mm -hmm. um, probably the Ramones. I discovered them when I was probably like ten years old, and it changed the way I thought about music because I had never heard anything like it before. So that definitely shaped who I was. Um, it's so hard. Maybe The Clash. Somebody say The Sex Pistols. Oh, it's sort of like The Buzzcocks to me. Yeah. <laughs> Dead Kennedy. Yeah. I would have to say Guns N' Roses, because when I was younger and bought Appetite for Destruction, it changed my whole perspective on music. Absolutely. Um, I went with Iron Maiden. They really like, inspired me to like try to like shred and like be the fastest guitar player. Yeah. Uh, I was Iron Maiden. Okay. It was me going around a horse. Yeah. <laughs> this one's from Bird Halo USA. It says, do any of you have any pets? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not a pet. I'm not a pet. <laughs> I'm not a pet guy. I have really bad allergies. So I have a dog. You have uh, like a barn yeah. full of animals. Yeah, he has a rooster I, I and a sheep. He has, he has a farm. He has a cow. So we're driving by. He's like, those are my cows. Yeah. <laughs> those are my really? Cows. Those are, that's my cow. <laughs> right over there. Got a sheep dog. I heard him. I want both these cows. I want both these cows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had two dogs. Don't you have a cat? Uh, no. It's oh, a yeah. Cat. yeah. That cat. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. This one's from Tyler Gloy fan. Ooh. I thought I was just going to say Tyler Gloy, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> What's oh, Tyler's favorite fan? <laughs> What's Tyler's favorite fan? Has anyone ever told you that you couldn't do this and make it never, never make it as a band? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Every single day, still. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for some reason, the towns that we come from, especially me, I had it really hard because I come from a small town where, like, you know, everybody's goal in life is to, you know, go to college, get old, and, you know, become a doctor or whatever. But so to say I want to play music and be a rock star, you know, it was like, it was like blasphemy where I came from. So I got it my whole life. <clears throat> like JC said, we still do. Okay, this one's from Paul Madtree. It says, oh, we have the answer. Says, who would you most like to tour with, Dead or Alive? But oh, Dead or Alive, dead or alive. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, Dead or that's Alive. Different. Now, let's just, because we all said bands that were alive. Yeah, let's go Dead or that. Alive. Okay, so a band that's no longer together, we're dead. Who do you no longer together? I would say Bigger Lights. Yeah, Bigger, bigger Lights would be sick. The Bigger Lights would be rad. Or, because um, we were, there are producers used to be in a band called The Bigger Lights that were rad. And we were like, band. we're obsessed with this brand <laughs> called Battle Hymn. Everybody should listen to Battle Go Hymn. Go listen to Battle Hymn right now. Just stop and you, this interview and yeah. just listen to Battle Anyway. <laughs> um, or like The Clash or Nirvana. Um, or The Ramones. I, yeah, I really yeah. want to say The Ramones. <laughs> all, all the bands. Yeah, because uh, The Ramones was such an obvious answer for me, I'll say the Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers. Dead bands? Uh, I'm just going to say if we can bring Freddie Mercury to Queen, that'd be rad. Just get the guy from Foxy Shazam. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> the pirate. <laughs> Zora, dude. Yeah, Zora. <laughs> dude, Eric's, Eric's awesome. He's cool. Okay. Tenacious Glam wants to know what's your movie, favorite movie of all time? Ooh. Back to the Future, yeah. obviously. <laughs> For me, uh, probably The Crow. The first Crow with Brandon. Oh, okay. Some no. of those are terrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fifth remake is yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the animated Crow movie. Yeah. About 91. There is a TV show, too. Oh, God. <laughs> or Ninja Turtles. Either Back to the Future or Ninja oh, Turtles. Oh, yeah, the Ninja Turtles movie. The live action now. one? Yeah. 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 Or the yeah. Power Rangers movie. I definitely watched the Power Rangers. Or Star Wars. Yeah. All of them. We like all the movies. We like all the movies. <laughs> the movie yeah, that had yeah. toys made for it is probably my favorite movie. Yeah, movie. <laughs> definitely. Okay. Um, Supernatural Girl wants to know what your first concert was. My first concert was uh, Poison was headlining. And it, uh, Rat, L.A. Guns, and I think Great White opened up for them. So yeah, it was a hair metal festival. My first concert, um, the D.C. area used to have a really great concert every year called the HF Festival that sadly is no longer, they don't do it anymore because like, the radio station went away. Now it's like Spanish music. But uh, I went to that when I was like 11. And I thought I was really cool until I got there. And I realized I'm not really cool because I didn't know any <laughs> of the bands. But I saw like Good Charlotte and Hoopa Stank, I think. <laughs> not that, not that bad. <laughs> there were like NERD too. Oh, no. What are you, Tyler? 
Um, I was in fifth grade and I saw Def Leppard was headlining in Journey. That's awesome. <laughs> I was five years old when I went to my first concert. So it like five. Uh, my first concert, Blue, and I was Avenged Sevenfold. Nice. And Boom. I'm actually you waiting because that yeah. show. He wins um, everything. There's a band that opened up from called Bullets and Octane. Oh, man, Bullets and Octane. And oh, yeah, they are awesome. I yeah. like Bullets. Bullets and Octane. Octane. Nah. Yeah. You put them together. I just love picturing man. young Tyler at a journey concert, like with a lighter, because <laughs> you have one in my mind. Actually, Tyler was sitting there with Tyler the matches and cheese, cheese watching yeah, the show. Like, Can we go home? Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mary E. V. says, if you can play a Nothing Impossible song, what would it be and why? Um, I would like to play. You play everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll say didgeridoo. What? What is that? <laughs> you just made up a word. You did that thing. Uh, it's, it's an African thing. instrument, that thing that goes This guy. Yeah. Oh. This guy. Yeah, I, yeah. I play drums because I'm terrible at drums and like you can vouch for me. I'm the worst drummer in the entire world. When he like, it's terrible. Beat, it's when we're practicing, I'm like, what if we did this? Like even my air drumming looks terrible. Like it's I'm all dancing. simple. It's like <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, what if we're sort of like digging digging and you're like why are motions the same? What if it's like you're like Yeah, not even. That's way better than I got. That's way better. What about you, Tyler? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Subway all over again. <laughs> Subway. If you ask him a question and he really has no clue, he panics. Like we went to Subway once, <laughs> and she asked him if he wanted it toasted, and that took like 15 oh, minutes to figure shit. out. It was like what time was it? It was like four. It was four in the morning. We were at a truck stop trying to get food, coming back from PA, and. We're all starving. We want to get out of there. There's, they don't like us at all. Nobody in there liked us. Like we got called fag eight times. Um, yeah, eight. And uh, <laughs> well, it didn't help with your joke either. Yeah. Well, then I, I tried to become one of them. So I was like, man, y'all look queer. Like try to fit in. <laughs> and they were confused. They're like, he's with them though. I don't get it. Yeah. But anyway, he's getting a sub, and the lady's like, do you want that toasted? And he's like, oh man. Uh, <laughs> uh, you come back to me. Uh, like literally. <laughs> By the way, she had no idea what she was doing. She was the slowest subway lady ever. She, she was well. reading, It was 4 a.m. I knew she was at subway. But you don't leave somebody by themselves who has no idea what they're doing. She yeah, I know. You're like mustard, and she picks right. up like, I was like I lettuce. Ham and cheese. <laughs> I got ham and yeah, cheese. Fine. She's like ham and cheese sub. Like she had to get out the yeah. book and read. It's like a, like what's in it? <laughs> <laughs> like it's actually just ham and cheese. Believe it or not. Funny or enough. Not. Funny enough. <laughs> I don't even know if we answered that question. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Why would we have the question? Oh, if you can play another instrument. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I words. guess either guitar you play or. Guitar. I do a little bit. I, I would like to be better at guitar. Okay. But you guys are going to make fun of me because I'd also like to learn how to play the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> you would want that. That's funny if you yeah. know him. That's hilarious. He wants to know the dudes that has the theme song. One the time we lost him at a party and we go outside to find him laying in the grass staring at the stars. <laughs> With a. With like straw. chewing on straw. He's actually yeah. looking outside. <laughs> what? With my violin. What about you, Alex? Violin. Yeah, I gave it up in fourth cool. grade. Don't laugh. <laughs> I just, because Yellow Card is a violinist, and I just imagine you rocking the fuck out on stage, like headbanging like you, going nuts with a violin. <laughs> it would be amazing. <laughs> I, I, actually, like, I actually think uh, piano is a really cool instrument, too. Yeah. Like, I you remember we play a little. Six, yeah, a little bit. But I remember in sixth grade, I was like, I don't know how to play the violin. And my guy was like, I was like, ah, this nope. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> So I noticed you don't have a bass player. Are you looking for one? We're actually um, working with somebody right now. We're just not sure at this very moment like if he's going to be an official member or not. We don't like when bands are like, this is our guy, and they change. Like We don't like bands that change their members constantly. It's, it's hard for the fans to even keep up. But, yeah. So we just figured. So we're just trying to find the right guy. We have we're somebody right now. We're not going to announce it until we know for sure that he's our guy. But he's great. So do you have any other words or news that we're coming up? Or Album coming out. We have a bunch of stuff going on that we can't talk about. Yeah, so there's, we have so much uh, cool stuff coming up, but we're not allowed to say what it is just yet. So. Well, we're finishing up our EP right now, which I know fans are like desperate for. Getting signed wasn't like, uh, we, we didn't plan that, so like it kind of threw everything crazy. So um, we're finishing up the EP. That'll be out, we're thinking, fall, winter, yeah. sometime soon. We're going to get it out as soon as possible. Um, and then after that, we're definitely going to start playing a ton of shows. Um, we're talking about maybe doing a tour. Right now, but we're not sure. Figuring it out. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm, I don't want to say something I'm not supposed yeah, to say. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of so cool. <laughs> that, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. So you know, make sure you're keeping up with everything. Yeah. Follow them on Twitter. The Real yeah. Life Sophie, Instagram, Instagram. Lots of pictures of our stupid faces. Yeah, you can. Time. We're on everything: YouTube, Facebook, you Instagram, Twitter. Twitter name real quick? Uh, our Twitter name is at, at Relapse Symphony. No, the. Okay, so follow them on Twitter. Like them on Facebook. 
check them out on YouTube too. Thank you. Thank Thanks for watching. Thank you much for the interview. Thank you. Oh. I wanted to do that. I it so bad. Oh, what is it? Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones. It does kind of look like that. No. Um, there's a video of her premiering the song on YouTube and she tries to dance and she's just like... Ever. 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 <laughs> this is how I dance. I go like, well, I'm going to play Taylor Swift. And you do this. I just do it. That's cute. That's rock and roll, man. Yeah. That looks cool. Why can't I do stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even our joke. We adopted that from another band. <laughs> I want both these pairs of shoes. <laughs> I feel like they're going to see it and like, be <laughs> like, what? They're going to hate us. No, we're just, no. Keeping it, we're just keeping it alive. Are there colored markers you can give him hair? <laughs> oh, dude, you gotta give him his haircut. And his little hair. Oh, oh yeah. Give him his like... little soul patch. His little soul patch, too. There you go. And then This isn't funny. He had a hand. He had a haircut, didn't he? Kinda. Oh, no, he has a collar thing. I kinda wanna do the JK, like. You guys I've heard rock records and I like them. Register to vote. Did you do that? Always. There you go. Hey, you laugh. Really we don't talk about politics, yeah. just Tyler has a very different political view. I don't know who to vote for, but I just want to... Obama 2012! Know. Obama's your mama. No, I got Mountain Dew. That should be there. <laughs> Obama's your mama! <laughs> <laughs> you should just go around shouting that at people. Oh. Obama's your mama. <laughs> Obama's your mama! There's so many waves like, Obama's your mama? Just point. I just don't like... Yeah, there you go. I don't like... <laughs> That's great. That no, looks like a dude. People are like, I don't get it. Alright, should we harass these I children?